Yo, this Oprah slide. Shout out to Hoop Journey. <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? Julian from Hoop Journey. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. And tonight we had Ben Simmons and the 76ers going up against James Harden and the Rockets as Ben Simmons got up to an early start. You see those two early baskets and look at that pass to a wide open Embiid. Early lead for the 76ers who just came off a loss to the Rockets not too long ago on an Eric Gordon buzzer beater. I did do a video on that if you want to check it out. And uh, getting into the numbers, man, Ben Simmons continues to shine. Let me know if you think he'll win Rookie of the Year this season. I think of as of right now, he is definitely in first place as Chris Paul is not playing in this game, still dealing with that knee injury. But going back to Ben Simmons, I definitely think he will win Rookie of the Year the way he is playing. Tonight, he finished off with 24 points, 9 assists, and 7 rebounds on 10 for 15 shooting. He even hit a couple mid-range jumpers, so that's great to see. But uh, in the end, well, from the start of the season, I did think it was going to come down to Ben Simmons and Lonzo Ball, maybe Jason Tatum. But definitely between Ben Simmons and Lonzo Ball, one of those two guys I think will win it. And as of right now, Ben Simmons is definitely outplaying any other rookie in the league, even outplaying some people that's been in the league for years. But yeah, great game from Ben Simmons and his partner in crime, Joel Embiid. Only 24 minutes played, finished off with 22 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and a block. You know Embiid's still playing with the minute restrictions. So once that's over, man, and he's able to play 35 minutes a game, he's going to be in a scary place, man. And these 76ers are hungry. They have just improved their record to 3-4, and four, won their last game. And they've just been playing very well as Embiid gets the dunk right there. Moving on into Houston, the Beard, James Harden, 29 points, 7 assists, 4 rebounds, and 4 steals, and a block, and a nice dunk from Eric Gordon, who played very well tonight as well. 25 points for Eric Gordon, but James Harden just putting up numbers everywhere, waiting for Chris Paul to come back, and also dealing with injuries. Markel Fultz did not play tonight as well, dealing with that right shoulder soreness injury wherever they, you know that's still an issue for him hopefully he'll be back soon because they really need to start developing him him still coming off the bench i guess when he comes back and you know he's not showing much in the nba yet it's james harden stepping back for his tray too much room for him he'll knock that down 10 out of 10 times but this was a really good game philly showed that they belong in the playoffs with the SSMB just making easy work in the post and uh, I think Philly's definitely a top six seed, maybe top five, depends how they play, especially when Markel comes back, because they have a lot of young pieces on their team. You know, Dario Sarge was in the running for rookie of the year last year. Joel Embiid is a top center in this league when he's healthy. Ben Simmons, nothing much to say about Ben Simmons, man. This guy is a beast. And Markel Fultz, number one overall pick. And, uh, you know, he was balling out in Summer League before he got hurt. He was great in college. Obviously, that's why he got picked number one overall. And, uh, yeah, just dealing with the injury. Hopefully, when he comes back, he's great. And uh, Ben Simmons, nice move right there. Couldn't finish, though. And be backing him up. And 76ers did come out with a 115-107 win. Let me know what you think of these 76ers in the comments down below. Do you think that they are a playoff team? And if you think they make the playoffs, do you think they're a first round exit? Or, you know, can they, how far do you think they can make it into the playoffs as PJ Tucker hits a three? Rockets trying to get back into this game, only six points with three minutes left. Eric Gordon pump faking, got that man flying, and he even fell and hit a cameraman. Eric Gordon knocking down that three. Only a one point, 76 yard lead. And who are they going to go to? Embiid in the post, making light work of Clint Capello. That's mouse in the house for anyone. Embiid wants to go at every single big in the lead. And uh, here goes James Harden trying to control the offense with a three-point deficit. Driving to the rim, and Embiid blocks that. James Harden looking for the foul, but it did not get caught. Embiid with the block and a transition to Ben Simmons. Look how fast he is, six foot ten, and he finishes with a dunk. This dude is six foot ten, two thirty, and he is fast as anyone else in the league. Trying to close out on that three. You're not going to get a better look than that, Ryan Anderson. 76ers just could not knock down that three. Another three from Ariza on the corner did not go. They got too many attempts here, and that would do it. Philly comes away with the W as Ben Simmons knocks down the free throw. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel.